Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of our... Some puny human types, right? No. Oh, undeads! That's right! So we're obviously going to nuke them with magic. It's my... Ooh, double mana cost, because my actual hero is not there. That's okay, we've got a lot of mana right now. Uh, 85%, 85 well, and they're going to take double damage. I mean, most likely they're going to fail, and most likely it's going to one-shot them. So, that's fantastic. All right. Boom. Awesome. Love it. Although, even with our extra uh, spellcasting seal, because we are our hero itself, our actual hero is not present in this fight, it's very expensive to cast. Now, Ida does have the ability to cast spells. Oh, you can only cast one spell per round, period. Not one spell per person. Well, that's very interesting. Can we actually attack there? We can. We've got the plus one melee strength, too. Lovely. How come we're doing lightning damage? Oh, it's plus one lightning damage from that ability. Right, right, which is always on, which is really nice. Um... Let's move to here. Let's move into position for a crossbow. Stupid rain. Oh, they have projectile resistance because they're skeletons. All right, that's really frustrating. All right, let's get some charges going on. Bam. I mean, we're certainly taking some counterattack damage. We're not going to have guard up, which might mean we can be flanked. That's true. There's a lot of things to worry about here. And these axemen have, like, no range to do anything. Um, the Mender. No, still retaliate. But that's a hell of a lot of charge damage. They have 25 hit points. We can't kill them in one shot. That's too bad. Can this multi-strike? It can. Now, it's probably got a range. Yeah. So we'll actually scooch up a little bit closer. Oh, I'll actually do more damage on this guy. Oh, the Archer is a little bit squishier. And it makes sense to sort of like weaken the people that are closer over here because he's a little bit surrounded uh guard up well i should still shoot something obviously is there no one there are they dead oh they are dead all right projectile resistance oh it still does huge damage though so that's all right prospector you are I guess doing a max range shot for very little damage. Go, go. Flanking bow shots. Good thing they have a shield, but man, that's a lot of damage. Oh, that's rude. These guys took an attack of opportunity, but in as a result, they could actually get a big flanking attack on those guys. So yeah, I knew right away that was like, oh, I'm overextending. But, uh, yeah. Oh no, my Axeman survived! Holy crap. I don't know how. Now, you don't have the ability to heal. And I don't actually have a heal spell. Oh wait, no, I can harmonize energy on this guy. And it's at range. It's a 30 hit point heal at range? That's amazing! I mean, I guess they don't call her Mender for nothing. Bite my shiny, scaly ass. Okay, good. Didn't lose a unit. Makes me very happy. And we get a hero upgrade on Urist! Alright. Chaplain. All units in the hero's army gain 200 morale. Now, I actually don't know... Let's close this a sec. Let's go into the uh, Tome of Wonders! Morale. Okay. So, if we get to a higher morale, we actually get a bonus to critical hits. Interesting. Now, how high do we actually have to get? No, that's different happiness. Yeah, we want morale. Really? You cleared the search when I clicked in there? No, yeah, that's not... I don't know how high more. Yeah, like how high is high? Give me a hint. Mm, you don't have morale maybe the same way. What about you over here, dwarf? Will it show me your morale? Uh, yeah. Okay, it's currently high. Okay. So, probably 200 
Oh, and it's based on the Empire Happiness. Oh, God. All right. So we don't need the buff that gives us extra morale then. Because, whoops. Hang on a sec. I lost my stuff. Um, because as long as we keep our Empire happy, then we should already have high morale. And as long as we keep doing good things, we'll generally be happy. Touch of Faith. So this is an ability I have to use that gives higher resistance. See, I don't like those. Aura of Resistance might be handy. I mean, we talked about it before as a magic resistance thing. Or, oh, there we go, Sacred Arms. It's exactly like the one that the other is giving, except this is a bonus to holy damage all the time. And I like that idea. Sacred Arms it is. Boom. And then we'll take a plus one to our defense. We could take the range damage. The fact that everyone starts with a ranged weapon in their, their thing means, like, all my heroes are automatically ranged people. Everything's groovy here, yeah. Do not have much vision radius here. Oh, it's way back down. Production for sprouts. We've got a decent amount of money. Now, we should probably build some more stuff, though. Is there anything that we could build that gives us more money? We could build the Theocrats Conclave over here. Should I just build Goblin Martyrs? <clears throat> more research. More units. Actually, yeah, I would like to move out with this group, so... Let's queue up two Darters. And a Blight Doctor, and that'll be the defense for this army. Or for this town. And then I can move this army out and actually get some stuff done. Oh, giant spider lair. Well. And the cherub is ready to be cast. We'll drop it in there. They don't seem like very strong units still, though. I think I'm going to stop casting them at two. Do we engage? What do they got? They have a Vampire Spider Queen, Tier 3. Vampire Spider Baby and a Dread Spider Baby. So the Vampire Spider Queen we know is dangerous. These are just goblins. They have high morale. They're all Tier 1. I'm wondering if I should go, like, beat on something squishier first. Let's go down here. There's more stuff to explore. Generic undead infantry. Yeah, let's go and kill them. And also, I can probably just automate this from the start. I will go ahead and drop one uh, nuke. Oh, actually, I won't have enough mana for that because I finished casting my cherubs. That's true. Hmm. Is there any spell Urus can cast from here that'll help? Divine Protection does not help. But what we can do is put a Sphere of Protection on the Boar Riders. So they take 80% less physical damage. For two turns. That seems like a winning move. Unless, of course, the only winning move is not to play. War games, anyone? Go here, just put a barrier in front of the, uh, the rock throwers. Stupid projectile resistance. Alright. Skirt around. Flank. Ugh, that hurts. Although not that much. Although, another flanking attack definitely does. Okay, they're not quite dead, but now they'll be finished off. Son of a bitch. I'm poor at these tactics. I mean, I guess I should do more like letting people come to me or something? Can't move it. Oh, because I used everything in counterattacks. 
Well, move what you can, I suppose. Who just subscribed? Lemur Aubin. Thank you for subscribing. Appreciate your support, man. Or lady. Person. Person. Let's go with person. Yeah, let's take the melee attacks where we can. Level up. Yeah, use your retaliations against this guy. I guess we'll go for the easy kill here. And you've got nothing to do. Click end of turn. Alright, we'll just auto combat. <clears throat> that plus one damage is really quite nice. So, we got Shin Guards of the Hapless. Epic leg gear item. 40% frost protection, plus two defense. Are vulnerable to lightning. Uh, we'll take it, because it's actually quite funny, because I think she's got built-in resistance to lightning. No. She's got built-in frost weakness, so we're basically... Well, it means it's a win. We're get netting 20% more protection of some kind, plus the defense. I mean, obviously we're going to take it. It's an epic. We can't not wear that. Come on. Meanwhile, with the cold-blooded dude, oh, looks like there's something over here. Stash of mana. Cold-blooded dude exploring the frosty lands. Man, I love this paper map. Just wonderful. I want like some ability to quickly make that for D and D. All right, good. I met someone. Odrin Stablis, high off Dreadnought, he's slightly good. So maybe we can get uh, a friendly relations. Yeah, some sort of peace treaty. I should look like a vampire. What is this over here? Ancient Ruins Unexplored. And I'm at, like, decreased strength here. Well, actually, I've taken a lot of damage, too, so... We're not going to go into it quite yet. I could summon a cherub on top of his head. What am I researching right now? Hey, we're at peace. Um, research. Produce Crusader. Okay, one turn left. I would like a better summon smell. Spell. All right, let's go clear the watchtower. I'm thinking this one might just get autoed from the start here. Ah, why'd you give me the low camera? What the hell? Ugh. Honestly. What is it with that camera? It's more cinematic. It's crap! That's what it is. What's the range on this? Oh, out of range, so... That should be quite hard to get anything in a good range here. Meanwhile, all these guys will just shoot things at me. Except for the Marauders, maybe. Hmm. He's got a shield. Well, I guess we'll hit the untouchable. We'll do more damage to them than anyone else. Um. Alright, this is the group with the priest. Got the ability to drop heals. Let's keep beating on the untouchables. And this will kill them. That will almost kill them. Hmm. It actually seems like a good idea. We leave like basically like completely mangled up units.
Alright, just automate at this point, it's fine. <clears throat> oh! Hero Quest is amazing. Like, the board game was fantastic. I also like the uh, Sierra game with the same name. It had the same name for a while, and then it became Quest for Glory. Both very good. Alright, we got a uh, rank up. And nice vision radius. Ooh. An ogre. What is this? Phantasm Warrior, tier 2. Oh, what do we have here? Army of Odrin. Oh, who we just met. He's got a double hero. Level 4. Level 4. Hmm. And we are at peace. And this was the hard... You know what? We should really just clear this stuff for the rewards. What's the worst that could happen? And what's the spider on? An unexplored monster den. You know what? Let's just do it. Oh! Let them run! Wow, okay, apparently I'm way overkill. And we got two items. We're going to take those rewards. So, the boots give us plus one defense. Wetland walking, which actually we already have because we're a goblin. And forestry, so mostly it's just plus one defense. And a ring of frost protection. I think the amount of item slots you can see really tells you how long these damn campaigns can last. So, okay, I have minimal defense left there. What are we doing here? Storehouse, shrine, all very good. Hmm. <clears throat> so, these martyrs, they can throw stones, melee strike, absorb pain. Links itself to target-friendly unit that is not already linked. Any damage dealt to the linked unit is dealt to this unit instead. <clears throat> All right. I mean, I guess you can do it to someone who is, like, weak and in danger. But it's not actually a good unit. All right, Crusaders. Tell me the good news. 50 hit points. Very nice. Melee strike, higher base damage. Holy Champion. Plus five fire damage against undead and devout. <clears throat> undead and devout, so other religions as well. Immune to mind control effects and has 100% holy protection. Very nice. Walking, infantry, armor, devout, dwarf, blight protection, spirit protection. Yeah. And I mean, not much more expensive than anyone else. It does cost mana to build. Uh, upkeep of eight gold per turn. It's certainly more than the others, but it's obviously very, very good. Probably should be building some settlers, too. Do I have a good place to settle? That's the question. I'm going to delay the shrine. I'm going to pop out the crusader, so I've got an army here. And then, actually, I'll build a... I'll queue up three crossbows after to defend the city. Can I leave the city? Could I do something that crazy? Ah, uh, let's wait until we've got our crusader. Um, yeah, so yeah, we just researched it. Awesome. Evangelist can convert people. It's got touch of faith and healing as well. I think I want more channeling at this point. I'm going to grab that. Ancient Ruins. Is that the one we checked? Oh, it's Unexplored Strong. And you know what? <clears throat> I will summon another Sherub just to fill out this group, even though I really want a better summon spell. But there wasn't one available. Alright, I can take you guys. You guys are a little scary. And speaking of scary stuff... Ancient Treasure Strong. All right, well, we're going to see what that has. Next turn. <laughs> Domain Invasion at Sprouts. Odrin is invading. What? 
just one dude. Man, if we weren't at peace. Buttercup fairies, you know what? Just auto combat it. Anyone? Oh my god, someone died. I should have just engaged and then put an auto afterwards. Oh, good rewards though. We got a warg to replace our guy who died. And a thieves cowl. There's plus two vision underground. Well, we're underground. That is a lot of vision. I will give you that. But I'm kind of pissed. Orc hunters. And how hard are we? Not bad, actually. Oh my god, dire penguins! Hold on, we're going after the dire penguins. I gotta see what the hell this is. I got a guy killed. Well, I mean, they are only goblins, but still, buttercup fairies? Come on. Again with the close up view? What the hell's going on here? Oh, that got toggled off. My tactical high camera. I must have accidentally hit a key on the keyboard, because there are keys in the keyboard to toggle these things on and off. You know, just like the combat grid. Okay, zoom, zoom up. Up, there we go. Thank you. Oh, God, this is awkward. All right. And the great healing showers. Every combat round, great healing showers restores 10 health to friendly units in a one hex radius. Ooh, all right. So that's going to help the dire penguins. Oh, man, these camera controls I hate. Um, so what do you got? Swimming, arctic walking, lifesteal dedicated to evil. What? <laughs> They're evil penguins. All right. What's my goblin blight doctor? Got the heal. Cure disease. We can touch. Mostly we're just going to poison bolt things that get too close. I think we're just going to sit in, space, in place, actually, and let them come to us. Uh, I could nuke them, but I'm waiting for those cherubs to get, uh, cat, or to get summoned somewhere else. So that I can... Because I've got the one army of five people, and I'd like them to just be filled out. I love these penguins! I want to build an army of penguins. Oh my god, in the camera, even though I said it. No, what? Oh, I'm, I can cancel that time. There we go. Oh, they have noxious vulnerability. Nice. Or no, it's the inflict uh, vulnerability that I'm seeing. Um... You should be able to finish them off, right? Penguins have lifesteal. What is going on? Nice damage. Very good. Yeah, let's go for the healthier ones here. Like, that's some range. Man, dwarves actually kind of suck. Their unit, their melee units move too slow. Their range units all are terrible. They don't do the, the burst attacks. I don't think I'll ever play dwarves again. All right, Warg, what do you got for us? They got the overwhelm ability. Deals plus three damage against pikemen and shielded units. Well, at least you move fast. Although we still have Raspic over here. Alright, go, go. You guys actually do frost damage. And life steal. I might actually kill my warg. Oh, they got the heal thing too. Right, I forgot about that. Penguins are gonna kill the wargs. You just gotta, you gotta play this so much more passively than I do, and it just feels weird. There. Mr. Forsher, thank you for subscribing. Storehouse has been built. Summon cherub ready to be cast. So I want that. Where? Not there. This one. 
because he's far from reinforcements. So I think cherubs are great, but they're there. One dude is still injured. We can start the battle by healing him, though. And that's probably what we'll do. Oh, let them run! Get some gold from a gold mine. We really do have to expand. All right, manual combat. It's probable victory, not very likely or anything like that. So clearly, and these are tier two monsters, whatever the hell they are. Dampening field, generates a mana negating field that doubles the mana cost of everyone but its caster. Oh, that's brutal. So are we even able to cast anything? We're actually down on mana a bit because of the um, finishing the cherub as well. I bet you we ourselves are not gonna have enough mana. Yeah, we can't cast anything. Can't cast anything there. Um, I don't actually have a heal ability, do I? So I gotta watch this one Axeman here. Okay, so who am I fighting? Wisps, what do they got? Phase, so they can teleport anywhere, okay. Static shield, each time an enemy unit performs a melee or touch attack, and then you take five points of shock damage. Wow. Incorporeal, they get 60% physical protection. What? Oh, this is bullshit. What about the Phantasm Warriors? They also have the inflict... Oh, that's inflict shocking and a hit. Incorporeal, so they've got the 60% physical resistance. And I can't cast spells against them. Because of the mana field here. This? This actually might go really, really badly. Just out of nowhere. They get quite close to do this. Now they probably have... The Wisp, of course, will have shock protection, 100%. Phantasm Warriors? 40%. They have protection against absolutely everything. Uh, we might just run, which I think we do by moving everyone to the edge of the map. Hopefully we don't lose anything by running. I don't know, actually. Do we escape unscathed? Yes, good. All right. We bravely retreated. Uh, you guys just camp out. You guys, who lost another unit. And could probably use a cherub. Actually, you know what? We'll, uh... Cherubs suck. Dart, dart swarmers are good. Uh, we move up here. Just go here, and we'll merge you next turn, and then go after these orcs here. Ancient ruins. Strong. Yeah, we're going to see. What could possibly go wrong? But just in case... No, no saves coming. Although, I haven't saved the entire time we've been playing. There are auto saves though, which is good. Um, live stream one. Alright. What do we got? Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 1. So, it's a Tier 2 High Elf Monster Hunter. This is going to be fine. I'm overestimating the danger of this stuff. Alright, nice high tactical view. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, that was unimpressive. Wait, you can shoot through that wall? What? What? Oh, I guess they're just like various other kind of barriers. Hmm. So if I try to shoot them though, they'll have great defense against that. Looks like I can't shoot them the other way. Or I can't walk through it anyway. Yeah, I can technically shoot through it, but there's like massive line of sight penalties over here. 75%. Not to mention the range. How are we going to tackle this? Well, I think we're going to start with not a smite. Yeah, I do need more spell power. And to stop casting cherubs or something. And you... Oh, this guy's a rogue! Panicked units try to run. Hindered units have reduced movement. I think I'll just rain of blades. 
Although, I wonder what the chances are of executing successfully. 50, 50, 40. Nope. Rain of Blades. I will hit one of the guys who's hiding. Yeah, because no matter what, we can't one-shot anyone, so... Can we go around this way? We can. Which seems like the thing to do. I think if we do this, we'll actually get cover from the wall. Now, if I... Oh, actually, I should have gone right up to the wall. Because I might have been able to shoot through without the line of sight penalty. I may as well take the shot. I suppose I could guard, because I'm actually at the wrong angle, so I'll take more damage right now. Yeah, okay, guard instead, so I can't be flanked. Same thing with these guys. Yeah, that's the problem. I keep hitting G for guard. Aha, and that's what toggles that. I hit G for guard, but it's actually like the three right here. It's defensive stance. Yeah, so if I try to shoot through from this side, ah, that works. Oops. What's going on? Hit four. Shoot. Oh, right. It's right click. The problem is I keep switching between this and uh, Warlock 2, and in Warlock 2, everything's with the left click. Um, I don't want my support units to just be killed. It'd be nice to take a shot, but they're going to have a huge range penalty. I'm really worried about these uh, scoundrels just coming in and ripping apart my prospectors. I guess what I can do is this. Mm, still a range penalty. Alright, we'll just do this. Weaken them at least, anyway. And the priest, I guess we'll go ahead and move up closer. And may as well apply some damage. Alright. Ooh, flanking bad. Nice! The AI really likes to walk through, um... Opportunity attacks. Okay, so we're going to lose the one rock thrower, but they're not really impressive units. I really ha do have to get myself up to an army of crusaders here. Uh, not any chance of one-shotting them. That's too bad. And they have some fire protection. I guess if I wasn't getting the range penalty, I should be able to shoot and kill them. Good. And you move up over here, shoot through the wall, get full damage. Nice. Still can't reach these guys. And go here. Take the range penalty. Yeah, let's charge in. So lost another unit. Right, I don't like that attrition. Um, ooh, 12 health regeneration. I wonder if that's in combat. And we get a free orc spearman. All right, well, we need to regenerate things, so. Or regenerate our army, I mean. So we may as well take the spearman. And I'm not going to turn it down. How long have we been running? Okay, just about time to put in another cut. So let's finish this turn. And I'm going to try to backtrack and go in through here. Finish the storehouse, then we've got the Crusader in queue. Good. That'll round out our army here. I mean, maybe I should be focused more on buildings. I guess what slows things down is all the combat. Ooh, merchandise next. No, not merchandise. You've got a few units to defend yourself with, not a ton. Public baths? 
Monum or Laboratory. Actually, you know what? You're my sur surface city. Let's go and have you build a Theocrats Conclave and build a giant army of Crusaders. I like it. Maybe I should focus on population growth. Um, no, I don't really need another expansion. We're okay doing this. You merge with them. You come here and kick some ass. Orcish Spearman. Wait, did it pop back to crap camera again? I thought they were spearmen. Maybe they are, and they also have bows. Stupid crap camera. Um, oh, goblin hunters. I thought they were orc spearmen. Orc hunter, orc hunter, high elf hunter. Oh, okay. So you're relatively damaged over here. I feel like I should drop a heal on you. I'll restore all your hit points. Seems like the smart thing to do. Oops. Also makes people be alive again. Dart Swarmer. God damn, the range on these guys is amazing. Look at this. Like, I don't have to walk up close. I get the triple attack. <laughs> yeah. Dwarves are crap units. I'll not be playing dwarves again. I mean, maybe they have really good base stats or something that I'm not seeing. I have 11 hit points left. I think I'll go for max damage instead. Again, I'm operating on the Master of Magic model, where if there's less dudes in the thing, they do less damage, but I'm not actually sure if that's true. It's probably not true. It's probably just a visual thing. In which case, I'm actually screwing myself by not finishing units. Let's pick the rotten. Maybe you can finish someone. Well, not if you have a line of sight problem. Be nice to get a triple attack. So if I move to be out of line of sight, then I lose one of my attacks, which is still better, but I could also just beat on this guy three times. All right, we're going with three super damaged people instead of actually finishing anyone off. You get a level up, though. Yeah, no, they're definitely doing max damage. Okay, now we know for sure. They are not... You can't weaken these units. Which... It was interesting all the time in uh, Master of Magic. See, I, I would have played that completely differently, and I wouldn't have lost anyone. Like, I was left with, like, I, my army just got murdered because of a misinterpretation of the game mechanics. Because in Master Magic, it was really cool because you would have two units side by side, and one might appear to have slightly less stats, but then you realize that the one unit was actually composed of, like, eight dudes instead of, like, four dudes. And so the unit with eight would multiply their base stats by eight effectively, but more importantly, any buffs, if it was just like plus one to attack, will effectively turn into a plus eight to attack, which was one of the reasons that halfling units were so very good, because a standard, like, whatever, standard spearman unit would have, like, six humans in it, but would always have eight halflings. So you'd play, like, a halfling guy with, like, massive buffs from life damage, for example, and then what you'd end up with is, like, this killer army of halflings just via buffs, just because of numbers. Also, halfling slingers were really, really good. Halflings were also lucky, which gave them plus one to their defenses. Super fantastic overall. Anyway, I guess we'll finish these guys off. Target will retail. Oh yeah, because it's the melee version. Yeah, let's just finish people off, because apparently that's really important. 
you would think that two guys would do less damage than eight guys, but apparently that's not the way things work. Um, yeah, I'll take the 50%. Stay a little further away. I mean, it's either 50% less damage or 50% less attacks. Oh, these two guys would have leveled up as well, but they died. Uh, well, we got a shield, which does, it's legendary. It's above epic, plus two defense, and gives projectile resistance. So you get plus two defense against projectiles. I like a lot. What the hell is this? Isabella. Isabella are invading my domain. Grammar. Oh, Grimbeak Crows. I remember that spell. So I guess them and like cherubs, you might just use for scouts because they me they move so fast. And or rather they, they fly is the big thing. I still haven't seen any of these guys' cities. Holy crap. Did I accidentally not put it on the medium map? Did I accidentally put it on like extra large or something? Because that's definitely what it's feeling like. Maybe I did. Raspit can get Druidry, which gives him extra spells. Warm at night. Take control of animal units. That's interesting. Hmm. Specific, but actually might be very cool. I don't think I want to make Raspic a combat guy. Let's give him more casting points. Seems like a good investment. Okay, so I'm running away from those guys. So I'm going to take out my aggression on these spiders instead. What? How are you in shit mode again? Whatever, it's a pre-release. <laughs> That's the problem. Also, you can tell that I'm getting tired because I'm getting more irritated by things. Seriously, just leave it in this. Just make it this, please. Ugh. I have an all melee group over here. Oh, they're gonna overwhelm too because I've got a shield. Awesome. Oh, well, we can start using Smite again. I like that. Oh, yeah, only one spell per turn, regardless. Forget about that. If I go here, can I shoot through that? Nice. And it'll force him to turn. It's got Arcing Shot as well. I don't know what that means. So now it'll be a flank. No? Not a flank. Still should be worth doing, though. Killed it. I'd rather have them burn their retaliations on the cherub. to do that. 
I like how they die. They go back up to heaven. That's fantastic. And then, uh, it's too bad it's not a flank. But we finished them off. And that's good enough. Meanwhile, I'm just going to move here and then go into my guard position. Actually, I suppose I should have been two away. Therefore, guaranteeing he couldn't triple attack me. That's something to think about. But this is what I expected, that he would try to run by, and I would just get to take a bunch of attacks of opportunity against them, because the AI seems to love to do that. I didn't realize there was cobalts over there. So they're all dead except the cobalts. So boar riders, you can charge in and flank from the back. Forcing them to turn, which means now the axes can flank them from the back. Do, do, do. Hey, we got a town. We got another thingy. Our first crusader has been born. Awesome. So, yeah, you're going to build a crossbow next, even though crossbows are bad. Mostly just thinking for defensive purposes. Well, crossbows are bad, but at the same time, an all-melee army is not good. And, yeah, these guys are supposed to go out and explore now, so we're going to go south. And, technically, the two crossbows are not devout, but other than that, it's a full devout army. Army affected by sunburst. Pray to the sun, mother of all nature, pierce... What? Oh, it's those guys being affected by things. Yay, peace treaty. And a hero is offered to join. Mikkel, Mikhail, Mikhail, Iron Fist, a level 4 dreadnought. I accept. Now, I don't suppose you're devout. I don't have any unit buffing spells. Oh, I got, oh, got Divine Channeling 2 research. Good. Do I have better summons? Like, I don't understand. This is an Empire upgrade. Destroys an enemy globally sustained spell or battlefield enchantment. It's not a spell. It's an upgrade. I don't understand that. Is there a spell? Because to me, it feels like this is a spell that you research and you cast later, but maybe... Maybe not. Heck, maybe I should pick up Bless and use it on my people in the front line so they don't die as often. It's cheap, too. It's five mana or five casting points, which is nothing. On the other hand, just killing a unit outright is pretty good. More channeling? No. No, we'll grab Bless. So this is Eklund the Putrid. My rogue. I can give him infiltration squad so that everyone in his group has wall climbing, which is cool. This makes a group really good at killing devout units. But that's going to be fine. Ability to cast blind on people is pretty good. All units in the hero's army gain armor piercing. Deals plus two damage against armored units. That seems like the thing to get. So we're going to get that. And then we're going to give you some more cheap hit points. Because that seems like a good idea. And we're sure as hell not engaging that jerk face. We'll move down this way instead. Just out of curiosity. Yeah, that's that one. Oh, a neutral town. Oh, it's a bunch of fairies. They're good, friendly, at peace. Would you join my empire? For 500 gold. Alright, well, we'll wait for another quest, maybe. Um, how many independents do I know? Can they show up here? No. Independent cities. Okay, so there's just the one independent city. I 
I gotta get some more units. More goblin units, because apparently goblin units are fantastic. The problem is, though, I gotta, like, get these cities to actually be developed. I gotta tech up. I think we gotta make do with the just the four? I don't know. I think actually we're gonna go back and defend our city, just in case something weird happens. Yeah, you just camp and cancel this next construction, actually. Instead, we'll focus on buildings. Storehouse, so you build fa or, so you grow faster. Builder's Hall, so you build faster. Laboratory for research. Oh, plus one rank to all archer units. Well, your archer units are awesome. So we're going to do that. We'll just keep building all ranged units from the, uh, the goblin city. That's the way to do it. Um, we're going to take one of our crossbowmen out and send him back to the city. And then we're going to take this hero and have him join the army over here. And then we're going to move south. Come on. Move. That was weird. Upgrade a hero. Oh, the Mender! Uh, more sorcery, magic affinity. S removes all enchantments from target unit and transfer them to this unit. That's actually kind of neat. All units in the hero's army gains 20% holy protection. That's good. And a dragon slayer army. We can go after that wyvern. I really should do that, actually. All right, the star blades. Hmm. I think I'm just going to grab more sorcery. Spells are so powerful that just casting more spells seems to be a pretty big win. I think I'm going to summon another cherub for this guy. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting to use my Mark of the Heretic, although I really haven't had the combo going the same way. I can cast it in one turn now. That's really handy. Although I have no mana if we do enter any combat this turn. I'm just smashing down like stuff. What do we got here? Nothing scary. I would hit auto combat, but it would probably kill off half my army. So, skip the space bar. Skip the cutscene, rather. I was supposed to cut, put a cut in this video a hundred years ago. So, we're going to do that now. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.